All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be learning about Canelo. That's right, I don't know anything about this dude, but I have been seeing him in some videos, so we're just going to be checking him out and seeing what board films can teach me today. Let's get into it. Mexican star, does it matter to you that maybe one day they'll call you the best Mexican fighter ever? Saul Alvarez. Oh, Canelo. Okay, there we go. I didn't know he had a different name. Oh. He's good, right? That was the end of Kovalev as we once knew him. Yeah. Cool Kovalev's gloves. Kovalev's Neon. Out. It's over. There's fifth gear. Canelo is the light heavyweight champion of the world. The alien. What's his nickname? I'm the curious. The seven brothers who would all fight professionally. And with the red hair, he's got an unusual look. An Irish looking Mexican prize fighter. His red hair and freckles earned him the nickname he is now synonymous with. Whoa. Canelo. You may see on his Oh, is Canelo just Canelo? his nickname? That means cinnamon. They call him cinnamon oh. for that reddish hair. Yeah. Cinnamon. He looks more Irish than he does Mexican. Yeah, I didn't know he was Mexican. That's true. When was the first time you, you saw Canelo Alvarez? When was the first time you laid eyes? Uh, he was like 14 years yeah, old. Yeah, he looks European. Playing to packed houses in Mexico, there to watch him beat up grown men. Red hair, freckles. I said, oh, wow. I mean, this is this this must be what is he Irish or what is he? <laughs> no, this is a Mexican kid because he turned pro in Mexico when he was 15. Boy! That's him at 15? Whoa. And, Yo, he uh, did. started knocking everybody out. Alvarez. Yeah, he does not look Mexican. Yo, he looks European. El Canelo Alvarez. Saul. Alvarez. By day, he sold popsicles with his brothers. By night, they train. He's come from the family with six brothers. Yeah, what else do you do after selling popsicles? You know, you gotta, his uncommon gifts quickly gotta get all that sugar out of your system. As did his unique disposition to strive for something greater than his humble origins. Right, coming from Guadalajara, the hometown area of Saul Alvarez. Alvarez. Oh, I didn't even recognize him. That's him? Guadalajara. Yo, he looks so different. Alvarez. I'm like, who is this? Oh, poured it on. Ooh, great hit. He was still just 17 years old when he contended for the WBA FETA Central welterweight title. Yeah. Winning by a corner stoppage in the eighth. By age 18. He had built an impressive 22 and 0 record. So sure enough, I mean, he turned uh, 18. He was ready to sign with a promoter, and so I, I already had started like noticing him. I started thinking, wow, I, I have this red-headed Mexican, freckles, good-looking kid. I mean, there's something here that I can do with him. I can promote him. I can Somebody sell him for money. Ooh, ding dong, ding dong. Oh. He's seeing birdies. Canelo Alvarez. Wow. Alvarez has been trained his entire career by the father-son team in his corner, Checo Reynoso and his son Jose. I'm an admirer of your style and your career and your willingness to fight everyone and your ability to learn as a professional and get better and better wow. and better. Boxing is so cool. Alvarez has trained his entire boxing life with the same group, molding him Jeez. into a champion. The training videos are so insane. These guys look superhuman. Like the training videos are the most interesting to me. Next. He was pitted against Yuri Gonzalez for the WBO Latino welterweight title. Ooh, he pounced on him. Very good skills, equally matched. Canelo's nice and poised. He doesn't waste punches. That's mature. Calculated. 
Canelo attacked with blistering combinations. Alvarez suddenly found three right hands, an uppercut, and secured the stoppage. Wow, yeah, that's a beating, beating. And there it is, it's over. It's over. Just like that. In boxing's long chronicled history, Mexico has been a treasure trove of elite warriors, known for their unshakable courage. Wow. He's nice. In order to rise to the top in Mexico, a man must be made of iron. Yeah, Mexico is wild. I went to... Tijuana, man, it was scary. And possessed never-ending reserves of determination. Power punch. Finish him. The TV made him that he's not a real fighter. Wow, not a real fighter. He's got mad offensive skills. And we know that. Is it because they believe that he doesn't fight strong country. fighters? I love the variation. I mean, Canelo's offensive variation is incredible. He throws punches from a lot of different sides. It's not just the punch, but the aftermath. Bye. Oh, they love it. My goodness. People are going wild. In 2010, wow. He signed with Golden Boy. You just Golden signed Boy. the richest contract in the history of sports. Golden Boy sounds familiar. Deal, $35 million guaranteed minimum per Golden opponent. Golden Boy. in massive crowds and significant pay-per-view interest. From the way he fights, you'd never guess he was 19 and been fighting for five years. That, that's what I was Is that his nickname, Golden Boy? Mohammed. You know, what you look at, he's 19, but he's got about 30 some fights. Wow. Graze him. Oh, but he got no defense on that. Yo, he almost. Wow, he almost took Canelo's head. He dropped a video game combo on Kodo. That was a little five punch combo. Video game combo. Oh, wow. Uh, that does look like it, like Street Fighter. Wow, I love the to training push videos. Canelo's abilities to their limits. And it comes down to who's got the biggest gas tank. It's got to be you. A neck drill is weird. Next nah. up, a fight for Tom the Cruise. big WBC Super Welter title. Alvarez's crowd jumping into it, cheering him on. Was that low blow? Guy got hit so hard, he looked back in no? disbelief. <laughs> he is a bona fide rock star, major box office attraction in Mexico, and now he brings his trade to Los Angeles, California for the first time. Barely 20 years old, and yet some in that country, Sergio, believe he could be the next megastar. Currently ranked number two by the WBC, number three by the WBO, and number four by the WBA. Everything's landing for the 20-year-old. Everything, everything. Damn, damn, wow. What does it say on his ass? Alvarez continued his insane. If you pace, see this, I'm knocked out. Up 37 fights before turning 21. Wow. Is this going to be the next How old is he now? Going like 30? After Pacquiao and Mayweather in their mid 30s, walk away. Saul Alvarez and Alfonso Gomez for the WBC Alfonso. Super Welterweight title. We heard all the drum beats about what was expected of him. And now those expectations are being fulfilled. Maybe even a little bit on the early side. The golden side. boy. 
the golden robe. And we're underway. Scheduled for 12. Canelo is the golden boy first because he can fight his ever-loving ass off. Oh, this is a big shot. So his nickname was the golden boy? Down. Down. That's three unanswered punches, four and five. Six, Yo, he's seven, pounding eight. a bag, dude. Longer. Why do the opponents always go like, why did they, why did they stop the fight? I mean, if, if you want to look back at the video, you're getting your ass beat. They complain, but man, you're getting beat. Ragdolled. Wow. Humbled the air. Ooh. Good right hand by Alvarez. Shoots it, thrown and drops him. Really Watch the Canelo why, why? Be tested big against the legend Sugar Shane Mosley. Sugar Shane Mosley. Sugar Shane Mosley. Dude, guy. he does not look Mexican. What? He looks so European in that photo. And the chance from a yeah, like Irish Mexican audience here in Las Vegas have already begun to go up. Canelo, Canelo, which is cinnamon. You know. Oh, Canelo actually means cinnamon. I had no idea. I literally thought that was his name. But I guess it's Saul. Hmm. Learn something new. See? I learned something new. Yo, that was a snap. That would take someone's head off, bro. Oh, dang, bro. Ref's coming in. Ref's stopping it. Going the distance. Alvarez wow, yeah, 12 won a rounds. Decision. Come on. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, I didn't see the whole fight. I just saw it. He now oh, had yeah, the look, WBC Canelo looks at his eye. And the WBA Super Welterweight titles. He's been in a lot of arenas since the 1980s for big fights. Few have been as electric as this. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is one of the greatest boxers to ever fight. Did they fight? fight. It's easy to see Canelo's 42 wins and think Alvarez was ready for Floyd. Watch him stand in front of Canelo. I gotta watch Canelo Floyd next. Next week I'll watch Floyd. Right. He's over here. Pop. But he was still just 23 years old. Is that if you're the money man, you can pick and choose opponents, fight them when they're not too dangerous, take Canelo when he's 22 years old, minimize the risk, minimize the damage, and get out with all your money and all your bargains. A good strategy for the fighter, but maybe not for the sport. He would go the distance with Money Mayweather. Ultimately, oh, this does look one-sided. One Yo, affair. Floyd got defense. Mayweather remains money in Las Vegas. In favor of the winner of the Super Welterweight Championship. Floyd, obviously. I mean, I didn't see any great highlights from these two Floyd fights. Uh, maybe I should. Master class in boxing to the or I'll just watch the documentary of Floyd Canelo. and see what he... Alvarez took a lot from the defeat. And over the next several fights, his defensive skills flourished. His head movement has been brilliant in the last couple of fights. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess Floyd fought him when he was younger and unexperienced. He's looking at him. And using more head and body movement to force misses. Whoa! It's almost like you're a grown man in the now. Ring surgery when you say, hey, just slip and hit. What level of aggression to beat Canelo should we expect from you tomorrow night? I've never seen Kirkland try to play rope adult that tells you how hurt he must be. I want to be Ooh, on I want to see more head movement. So close. That was delicious. It's going to feel like we're How you doing? And then Canelo started to counter with big power and just blasted him out with one of the great combinations we've seen in re recent years. He demolished James Kirkland. Yeah, he sent them back to Costco. A signature KO. One for the highlight reels. That's a poster.
high altitude wow. runs, lengthy endurance sessions. His training is always evolving. Jeez. He must be like 30, 32. Jeez. Jumping up Powerful weight. punches, damn. He set aim on the WBC middleweight title. A super fight with Miguel Cotto. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble. What a job, just to say that. Ooh. Constantly moving forward. Silent aggression. Two of the biggest names in the sport. Oh, I didn't know the other guy was big, too. Jeez. Oh, my God. Steady pressure, God. It's a steady pressure. It's not really what Dude, how do people keep their eyes open? With, with him coming forward. I'd be blinking like so much, man. Jeez. That's the only thing that'll make me not a good boxer. That's cool. Keep blinking. The fight went the distance. Ooh. Good respect. Good respect. Well done. Canelo won the unanimous decision, securing the middleweight world title. Oh, dang, he got blown. Yo, who is this guy? Breakfast is ready. I made pancakes. Wow. After making a few kids are going crazy on his titles, he would face off with Triple G. The long awaited showdown between already legendary oh, yes, knockout artist Gennady Golovkin of Kazakhstan and consummate boxer puncher Ooh, wow. Canelo Alvarez we all remember of this. It's the most compelling style matchup in boxing in several years. Triple G Canelo this weekend. Finally, the super fight. Yep. The mega fight. Yep. Damn. I'm tremendously pumped up at the fact that these two guys are as good as it gets. The fight was everything fans hoped. Not monster. I'm not monster. Two masters of their craft battling back and forth. Many of history's greatest fighters have worn the crown. Let's see what this side says. It's not, it not only promises to be a great action fight, but the buildup is such that it's also the biggest fight in boxing. Ooh. Good defense. His head movement and waist movement has been exceptional. He does make him miss a lot. Both of these dudes got power. Like, and dang. We're talking about a war. Yeah, dang. Canelo shakes his head. That usually means he got hit. Yeah, but you got to hit harder, I guess. Dang. I don't know, man. I thought GGG won. Think in the last There's not even enough highlights for her to show it on Canelo's side. Type of fight. Canelo back with the right hand. And like GGG is like the aggressor. 50, He's moving forward. 56. That should be more points, right? It was a highly contested fight. I'm more, battle I'm more team GGG. I like GGG more. I mean, Canelo has good defensive skills. He's got a good movement, but... Both fighters standing toe to toe nothing nothing too crazy i do like his defensive like evasions but ggg man he's triple g rallied by yeah triple g down the stretch and that and, and to pull out what i thought was a draw <laughs> yeah at least a draw uh i don't know if canelo wins man i don't know i still don't see it that was an epic middleweight title fight the fight was a draw but many sure, felt Triple but G had yeah, won, Triple G definitely setting up won. a rematch to settle the score. Glovkin, Glovkin. I feel like I'm watching a Triple G documentary, man. I like, he's so good. He's so good. Talk about it. Now it's time to 
be about it. Round two. Fight. Get ready to go in the ring. In the rematch. The rematch was another battle. This one closer than the first fight. Ooh, that was a good hit. Sorry, G. Ooh, but G gets one back. 39, 36 His accuracy is the difference in some of these rounds, and his defense has been exceptional. He's not Ooh. letting the game dictate his level. He challenged the game and said, I want to level up. Ooh. They stare each other at the end of the round. Boom, perfect timing. Mike Tyson. Yikes. Yo, Triple time, G, man. Canelo was the clear victor. Yeah, I guess. Unifying the middleweight titles. Yeah, the only way Triple G would have won is uh, a knockout. Peace. Oh, uh, no. He's outboxing the rangiest and cagiest and outfighting the roughest and toughest Whoa. in the whole wide world. Yo, this guy's tall, too. <clears throat> he moved up to contend for the super middleweight titles. Pitted against undefeated champion Callum Smith. Hey, he's like taking Canelo control, is bro. To cement his legacy. Hard right hand, Smith is hurt. As one of the greatest boxers to ever. Damn, look how small he is. Saul Alvarez. Canelo. Canelo Alvarez with the look of a three Damn. division world champion. Fighting four times in one year. Canelo said That's all they fight is the four first in one year? In Whoa. To unify in the four belt era. Oftentimes when you get to this point in your career and you're set, yeah, you got to train and get ready for like four great, months, like right? Canelo and he's knocking him down one after another. It does not Three months training camp. Canelo versus then you fight, then you recover. It's Canelo versus and then... ghosts. It's Canelo versus greats. Nice uppercut with the right hand for Canelo. He made quick work of his mandatory challenger. Canelo Alvarez leaving no doubt in the minds of those who watch That's why I find like kickboxing so the crazy decade. the amount of fights that they go through man They put their body on the line one two closed out the fight Punch through the barrier Ciao Canelo took on the WBO super middleweight champion, Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe. Saunders was undefeated and thought I don't know any a of true challenge for Alvarez. Canelo competed four times in 11 months this year. I mean, folks, if you have a champion in their prime and they're competing two or even, let's say, three, that's a treat. Four, I'm not going to say it's unheard of, but it is not common. Okay. He's not really. Ooh. Ooh. Always. Yikes. Canelo. Dictated so the only the person that he lost to was Floyd? Yo, the duck into the punch is brutal, man. Unlucky. Unlucky, bro. Unlucky. Oh, that throw hit. To the body and setting up the uppercut. Oh, okay, okay. So you set it up, you hit a little bit over here. Boom! Yeah, that guy folds forward a lot more. After the fight, his orbital was shattered. No way, he broke his eye? Canelo gets the knockout win. I'm not sure. Why are you pressing it, bro? Why is he just nevertheless the pound for pound king with another win in the Lone Star? 
after the eighth round, Saunders was unable to continue. I would hate for that to happen to me. Break my eye. Jeez, look at the stadium. Canelo now possessed three of the four super middleweight belts. All that remained was a showdown with IBF champion Caleb Plant. You look at the quality of opposition and now the length of it. And again, 31 years He's of age. He's just collecting the belts like Thanos, man. He has never been down on the canvas. The fight would determine the first undisputed super middleweight champion in the four belt era. Plant was undefeated entering the fight <laughs> with 21 wins. No, they just took all the belts, man. They ain't share. Dang, no. He's selfish, look at that. A final dance with super middleweight history for Canelo Alvarez, who aimed to cement his status among Mexican boxers. The fight wow, the lived up to expectations, okay, let's see. thrilling the sold out crowd Jeez. at the MGM Grand. These are heavy blows from Canelo. He's putting lots into these shots. Billy Joe saying, these aren't bothering me, I'm okay. But trust me, we can see and hear these shots. They're heavy. Whoa. Each fighter brought their best. Yeah, not just a fantastic game plan here by Canelo, but the discipline to stay on that game plan throughout into those uh, championship rounds, as you mentioned. Caleb won a few rounds, but as the fight carried on, Canelo separated. Ooh! Ding dong! In the 11th, Alvarez put the final touches on his latest final nail in the coffin. Okay, that's basically what he wanted to say the final nail in the coffin. Come on, you got it? What's my name? And it finishes him off. With the masterful skill Done. of a renaissance. Ciao. Da Vinci, Michelangelo, Canelo. Saul painted a picture of destruction. Jeez, just call it quits, bro. With the victory, Alvarez had proven again that he reigns over the rest. Wow. Is he really that good, or did he just pick his boxers? I didn't see anything crazy other than his, like, defensive skill. He's really nice defensively, his footwork. But, I mean... The best boxer in the sport. Canelo he's not, like, bad or really good. I find him, like, in the middle. The prime of his career. Compared to, like, when I watched Triple G. Does he have the, the same length of resume as or I'm a saying, no. But I think if you just add up the accomplishments and some of the rare air that he now occupies. As but, I, but he's nice. I mean, like, he's technical. I think by the time he's done, I think it will be inevitable. But the time don't he check ends up, loves, this guy is wow. one of the best boxers, and I mean this, in boxing history. And he is in And he only lost game. to Floyd, I assume. Again, 31 years of age. He's not done, folks. Oh, whoa, I so think 31. He's got several more 31. years of terrorizing some divisions. Canelo Alvarez. Nobody brings it home like it should. Nobody. Make it so. Boom. As I mentioned before, like Canelo is nice. He's a good boxer. You can see that he has technical skill. Uh, I didn't enjoy him as much compared to the other guys personally. I'm not saying he's bad. I just didn't enjoy maybe the video of him. He didn't really show any cool, exciting highlights. But the footwork and the dodge after he was fighting Floyd, that was nice, man. He's like the magician. Make himself disappear.
computer. It was a great kind of uh, educational video for me because I didn't know who Canelo was. I mean, I see he's popular in social media and you see a lot of his name in, in the Ryan Garcia headlines of him and his coach, Oscar De La Noye, or whatever his name is. Interested to see if there's a better video. Maybe there's like a knockout compilation of like him just beating people and showing his true power. That's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Cheers for now. Peace.